what you say, we'll be driving this entire course, uh, OTM course, uh, in a way like it's a kind of exercise driven course basically. So I, I, I will not, uh, I'll not give you some kind of slides, uh, I'll not show you slides and I'll not show you uh, uh, screens here and there. I'll be giving you, I'll be, we will be practicing together uh, on hand the OTM stuff on hand everything is exercise based so that you get first hand a feel of the entire application as such so let me see let, let us start with the bit of history of OTM so OTM uh, as you know Oracle it, it is now Oracle stuff but Oracle business idea is something like they buy stuff from which is which are popular products in the market available market so OTM as such was not OTM basically it was G-Log, uh, GC3 it was developed by a company called G-Log back in 1990s and then it was it was it was a it was kind of a web application uh, primarily for the service providers and suppliers it's a kind of a web portal where you can go in and key in your uh, service rates and the suppliers can buy services from the providers service providers it was something of that sort. Then it, it got hit uh, in the market uh, and then Oracle saw this and Oracle purchased the entire uh, G-Log, GC3 from the G-Log in 2005. And they re, I would say they renamed or rebranded the entire stuff and in February 2006, OTM was born, like OTM, which is Oracle Transportation Management was born. So that's a bit of history <coughs> of OTM. So now, uh, who will be like proper audience for this course? So it is like if you are into involved into a support project or implementing implementation project of OTM, yes, then it will be a good course for you. And even though if you have uh, if you have little idea or no previous idea, no problem. Uh, but this course will fit you. So this are, this is the course structure. So pro, uh, I have divided the entire course in five days. So one first day, day one and day two would be, uh, the entire course is like business scenarios. Like it is, it is not uh, theory stuff. I'll be giving you, I'll be giving forward, like I'll be putting forward the business, business scenario, current business scenarios, which is globally used, uh, globally practiced everywhere. So where you can, if you are in, if you're in an OTM project or if you're in OTM team, where you can correlate with your current project. So I'll be giving you this, those kind of scenarios so that you will be able to understand in a better way. So so for day one and day two will be introduction and direct shipments. Day three will be multi-stop shipments. Day four, multi-leg. And day five will be consolidation, deconsolidation, box scheduling, pool and all. So basically, I'll be I'll be touching uh, I'll be touching both the part of it uh, like earlier like if you go five years back from now it, we had something like technical consultants or functional consultants like functional consultants will not know anything about technical and technical person will not know anything about functional but in today's market today very competitive market there is no such nothing such as technical consultant or functional consultant today there are people who know both, so techno-functional consultants, so that gave that particular stuff. So I'll be uh, I'll be taking care of both the stuffs wherein you don't feel like you are going towards the functional direction or you are going towards only technical direction. We'll be touching both the aspect of the applications. And as and when the day progresses, the complexity of functionality will, will be challenging. So even you will love it uh, as and when you practice it. So that's how, that's the core structure of this particular uh, OTM. So let us let me introduce OTM. So basically, what is OTM? So OTM, as you know, it stands for Oracle Transportation Management. It enables the organizations to meet certain SLAs or meet certain uh, services which are um, you. We have a mission uh, vision mission statement, right? In 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 any company, so to enable the organization to meet that particular uh, statement. So by providing, uh, 
by by clearly by uh, enabling the organization to meet their customer service logistics objectives by managing all the order shipment both both domestic and international. So it, the OTM will OTM will not just uh, use only for domestic; it will be used for also for international orders. So if you see OTM uh, as such, so basic OTM modules are. Uh, um, order management, shipment management, contract and rate management, configuration and administration, business process automation and finance. These uh, five, six modules are core modules. We call it as OTM core modules. And there are many other core modules, but we will ask him if we start, um, if we want, like if we cannot cover the entire, it's a vast ocean, OTM is an ocean actually, we cannot cover the entire OTM in just five days. but. We will touch base those areas, but we won't be able to cover everything in that particular stuff. So, but definitely we will we'll be use, making use of this OTM core model, without which uh, you cannot be you cannot be called your, you cannot call yourself as an OTM consultant. So, order management, shipment, contract rate management, configuration, business process, and financial. These are core models. And there are other models of OTM like this. This core model come come under basic OTM license. But there are other certain OTM models which can be purchased uh, separately. So those you must have heard of GTM, Global Trade Management, and FTI Future Transportation Intelligence. Basically, they are uh, they are getting popular these days, but they are not much used by many customers. But they are getting grip in the market. So these are the steps will be. We won't be. Uh, I, I have just listed down these models, but we won't be covering this in our course. <clears throat> so to, to understand the OTM uh, from a technical standpoint, it is basically a multi-tier uh, um, uh, application. Like it has three tiers, uh, web layer, application layer, and database layer. So um, like it is something like you can, uh, as you see the screen, so the web layer, the web servers, which are there, basically they are used to. Um, it is basically look and feel of the application. It it, it forms the data for the end users to see it. Um, application layer where all your logic is there, all the logic, all your automations, all uh, all the planning criteria, whatever it is, it, it resides in application server, which processes the entire data for you, and it presents in web server. And database layer. Basically, all uh, all your data which is which is stored inside the, the database layer. So, basically, this is a three-tier uh, application that you need web server, application server, and database server. That that's all uh, we have for introduction class. Okay. So, as you see. Uh, Guys, this is the OTM basic 642 screen. Uh, well, the, I was talking about the basic core modules, right? Uh, which are order management, shipment management, contract rate, business process configuration. This, this, this particular uh, eight modules are core uh, module for OTM. So let me see. Like order management will have all your order related data in it. So. If you see this, this is a purchase order. This is a uh, order release, order movements, material management. So when you um, basically um, purchase order is something wherein uh, uh, where you have a uh, where you place an order to your supplier, a purchase order where he can key in. All this can be interfaced with another ERP system, and we can bring in the orders here. So from purchase order, it get the order get releases and it gets converted into order releases. And from order releases, um, uh, we we plan those order releases accordingly uh, according to our business scenario, and we create order movements out of it. And from order movements, we create shipments. So we will will go through the entire flow uh, once we start our uh, our actual class. Uh, so this is a shipment management screen uh, where you will have all the shipment related details. If you go in here, there won't be any data here, uh, shipments, 
but if you this like there are uh, there are the two kinds of shipments like where is buy shipment and sell shipment so we will we will sell all, we will we will see all the details uh, as and when we proceed this is a very fine screen of uh, navigation screen for shipment where you if you have some shipment ID you key in and then you can search it or you can just open search it. So right now this particular uh, uh, instance is vanilla instance it doesn't have any stuff uh, in it we have to configure it for you guys and uh, we will do it. <coughs> 